Any questions on that? I've asked uh, Bob Foster to uh, talk briefly this morning on information technology and what's going on uh, relative to our conversion to an electronic health record. Just a uh, quick update on where we are. We've had several discussions over the past few months about our adoption of CPOE. I just wanted to show you how, how our position adoption is moving forward. Uh, as of December 12, 62% of all of our orders have been entered directly by physicians uh, as we continue to roll out and, and make units uh, mandatory for electronic use of, of uh, CPOE. Uh, while CMS would tell you the goal is 100%, in reality, where we would probably hope to someday get is about 85 to 90 because there is legitimate opportunities for paper orders, verbal orders, things like that, depending on care. But as we continue to move forward, we, we continue to improve and our positions are really doing a great job in adopting this. Uh, so we have 62% of all of our orders now being entered electronically. That's about 80 to 84% of our positions directly doing that, participating in the order entry. And we still have several units to roll out, as I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but progress is really moving forward. And, and thank you for your support and, and helping drive that. Uh, and again, our positions themselves as they've helped drive that. Uh, the units we have left to roll out, you see, uh, as we move forward, Smith Northview will roll out as soon as we get release 11 of our, our EMR updated. That's release, and I'll talk a little bit about that in just a moment, that we have to put in place. Then we'll hit Smith Northview hard and, and try to get them. The good news about Smith is we have physicians using CPOE out there, and we haven't even trained them and gone out there, but, but, but they were very willing and, and uh, actually clamoring to begin using it when we uh, went live in November. 